hello guys good morning and welcome back to our youtube channel Itco engineering services the house plan market as you rightly know this platform is designed for homeowners when i mean homeowners i'm talking about those individuals that wants to develop their property and don't have good knowledge of house construction from experience in nigeria today most homeowners want to know exactly what is going on with their house construction but most times is it is difficult for them to really understand what the nature of work that is going on the level of the work and the professional services that is taking place in their house project so we have taken our time to use our construction activities to explain some details points based on experience that we feel Will be useful to most of our home owners if you have not subscribed if you are if you are if you are if you are if you are, are home owners and you are yet to subscribe for this or to this channel i think you'll be missing out a lot because what we'll be discussing on this channel on weekly basis it's not just going to be our our house construction activities apart from our house construction activities that will take time to analyze every step by step process that we undertake to make sure that we get a perfect work we equally discuss issues that is relating to house construction matter like problem affecting your house after construction maybe you start seeing cracks on the walls what are the causes or maybe after you have finished your construction process you now start seeing dampness on your wall maybe after a year what is the causes all those and many more will be discussed on this channel as we go along together so if you have not subscribed, I would advise you to subscribe. Apart from subscribing, like the videos and more importantly, share it so that other homeowners can see it and maybe comment on issues relating to their own house issues or house construction and you never can tell we might be giving some explanation that will save you or save someone else a lot of money in the long run so this particular project you are seeing now is one bedroom flat three-story building so we have about one bedroom flat, three apartments on it, and we are going to be taking up to two deck. Before we start this particular project, the first thing we did was to get a comprehensive soil test of the of the soil, so that we can have idea about the soil bearing capacity to see if it is if it corresponds with what is in the design. And if it is not, then we should be able to adjust to know exactly how the design, how we are going to do our foundation design. Okay. Now, after that particular stage, we have to go through the DPC. When we get to the DPC, now we, look, we, we need to consider the height of the road to the land in order for us to determine the level of our DPC. We pass through some stages during this process and 
the time the time is not enough for start and to for me to start analyzing every of the stages that will undertake during the foundation process but i think i've done some uh, some videos i think we have some segment of our foundation work i'll drop the link below the description section so that if you have if you are interested in those areas you can you can click on the link to see what and what we did during the foundation process and every other stage that follows okay now we are the first deck level all the necessary enforcement has been put in place the station bars will equally be connected before the casting proper there's something that i really want to stress on <coughs> about homeowners most of our homeowners <coughs> they believe that they can manage their project themselves and they really do not need the service of the engineers in fact they even prefer to use the medicine guys that they can coordinate and control to manage their construction activities for them there's nothing bad with using a messy man I, I can agree with you some of the messy they are they are somehow granted but you cannot or rather they cannot do the work of the engineers in construction activities there are things that plays out in the engineering field you see the major areas in construction activity is the theoretical area which is the analysis of the strength of the materials this is where the engineers come into play if you are that type of individual that prefer to use medicine for your construction or simply because you feel you cannot afford the services of an engineer i want you to stop that a bit because the amount of money you are putting in for materials for rods is 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 not compare you can't even compare it to to the money you pay the engineers to do the right thing for you so why do we have to follow shortcuts if an engineer is charging you a particular fuel this is the best thing you can do is find a way to get the best price but make sure you use an engineer for services that you know they will be the best hand to handle rather than looking for a messy man simply because you know that oh this messy man has done this work for my friend has done this work for my sister okay can do my own the answer is no the answer is wrong because what the messy man the job the project the messy man did for your friend is not going to be the exact project that you are doing the span are the span are different the staircase type may be different the load of the beam or the beam dimensions may be different from the other person's own a messy man will not have that full knowledge of what i did yesterday if i want to do for this one for if i want to do for you now uh, i will make some changes or the load is different or the, the the span is different when i'm using the word span i'm talking about the sizes of the partitions maybe your parlor maybe the room it might not be the same with what the messy man did yesterday. So if you are using them, the messy man cannot analyze the strength of the beam, the strength of the slab. They can't even figure out what is the forces that is playing on that building. The only thing that a messy man will do for you is to repeat what they repeat in Mr. A work, maybe your friend's project. If they use Two rods there they will come and use two rods for you if the space if the spacing of the reinforcement is this they will come and do the same thing for you so i don't advise you because you want to manage because you don't want to pay an engineer for your services or because you feel the engineers do not really have work because from experience i always get to know that the client 
sometimes they even ask us what is our work at the site because most times when the engineer comes to the site what they feel it does is to come and look at the work what that is going on then they go back to their office they feel the engineers does not really have work that is going on they don't have much work people that are doing the work is the labors and the medicine but the truth of the matter is that the engineer is the actual person that is piloting the affairs of that project so i will see i'll just like i said before try as much as possible to use professional in your building project okay now as you are watching where we are right now we have finished the casting of the first deck and we've started the form work for the second form work that will take us to the second deck if you watch closely you discover that our blocks we did it in a way that it have to be in 90 degree with the ground floor it must be straight if it is not straight we will not accept it we don't accept it and we try to use best hand in our in our construction activities now if you are starting a project from the from the deck and you discover that you are wondering what to maybe how many which pattern do i go should i go by counting or should i go by daily pay i will advise you if you are if you are home owners and you want to do it yourself or you want to suggest please don't go don't do counting when you are trying to lay your block work fine i agree with you counting may be fast to achieve but you have lots of errors during the counting process because every of the mercy every of the workmen their construction will be on what they how many blocks they can lay before the end of the day and that is what you are going to pay them and apart from that they are going to be they are, they are going to create so many weak zones for you which might ev eventually lead to cracks in the long run in that you're building if you give them on counting because they are going to they, are, they will definitely fix in half half block in areas where they don't even need to put half blocks because they are trying to meet up their counting targets for the day so if you are homeowners please you can use the method of daily pay set the target for them if it is 100 blocks for one day you want and if you are trying to make sure that you want to you want to capture so many areas you can maybe engage more medicine and set a target for them for their daily pay that way you'll be able to get the job done accurately so after the block formation the next stage that we we'll move to is the linter process we carry out the linter process and during the construction work for the during the form work for the linter process it is not necessarily important that you must form you must change all the apartments round no the areas we concentrate on mostly is the external area and the areas that will be carrying the load bearing walls the areas that will feel that fine there's going to be need for load bearing walls we can change them so that our next work on it the beam can assist to carry the load and another thing that most construction site fails to understand is when you are doing your chaining please try as much as possible to always connect them to to columns if it is not done that way the load that you are putting on that your lintel will be transferred to the block work and if the load is too much it will going it's going to have an effect on the block wall 
what do i mean by try to change to your lintel what i mean what i'm trying to say is this if you have a block wall that is not connected to a lintel or so, sorry to a column to a column that there's no column in between them if you can avoid putting lintel on 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 those areas it is better you avoid it because if you put lintel on those areas that lintel load the load the self load of the lintel is going to be resting on the block and that can cause crack on those areas of block work I, I don't know if you are getting me but if you have comments that you want to ask question about please ask your question i think i will have time to explain more on these things i'm discussing on i'm not just discussing on this thing because i want to discuss on it but i'm trying to this i'm discussing on these issues based on practical experience what we have been seeing over time that cause problem for homeowners sometimes you see homeowners will say oh i have cracks here and when you go through the site investigation you discover that oh this pillar or this beam is what is giving the walls load so until you support that beam that load will not go out from it even if you like you patch the crack it will still resurface because the self load of the beam or the lintel is what is causing the crack so this is what i'm trying to explain so far so good this particular house we have gotten to the decking form work now if you watch closely you discover that the deck the deck itself has a minimum depth but here in nigeria our major problem is the materials the plank that you buy from the market you discover that they are not even up to up to uh, 12 inches again some of them they are eight inches now what do we do in these particular circumstances if you are using a comp a capital for example you are, you are homeowners and you engage the capital to come and do your body for you you don't you you cannot really tell what is minimum depth and this is where i'm coming in every particular deck that you see has a minimum depth based on the design and based on the span uh, effective ratio okay now if on the design you have a minimum depth of 300 what that means is that the depth that will be able to carry the slab should not be less than one foot but if you have a, a plank that is less than 12 inches what do you do it means that the capital has to board to double the board to get that depth and that means that you yourself have to buy more boards in order to achieve that process so this is what you do if you are having if you are doing a form work make sure that you follow the minimum depth if you did not get the minimum depth accurately the 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 the, the what how do i put it if you don't get the minimum depth act accurately you'll be having issues in the long road with your beams because they will not be able to carry the slab load. The deflection will not be satisfied. Okay? Now, after the form work, the next thing is placement of reinforcement. We ensure that the main reinforcement is placed along the short span in order to be able to carry the slab load very well. I'm really out of time. I would have loved to explain deeply on what I meant on this area, but in my next video, I hope I'll be able to do better explanation on the reinforcement placement so that you'll be able to understand it very well. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe.